everyone, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Batman. As you can see, we have 11.4% done of the game. Not a lot, but hey, we're only about, what, five levels into the hero section. So now we're going to start the next chapter, Power Quays the Penguin, and we're going to start the Gotham Docks level. Let's do it. Hmm. Come on. All right, so this is the Penguin's Lair. As you can see, he's got Bane, Killer Croc, Catwoman on his side. And actually, uh, in the console version, this is where this game differs from the console version. The console version also includes another character, Man Bat. He was taken out of this level for the DS version. I don't know why this is. If someone could give me some insight onto it as why, please let me know. Killer Croc, don't laugh at his penguins. That's mean. Don't be mean. See? That's what happens when you're mean. That's what happens when you laugh at people whose name is Oswald, I mean Penguald. Ow. So, his plan basically entails, Penguin's plan entails, making a thousand of these robo-penguins. Uh, a robo-penguin army, if you will, to take over Gotham City. Uh, you know, I wouldn't choose robot penguins to take over Gotham, but I guess everything's better with penguins? I don't know. So... Of course, Batman and Robin get in their boats. Why does Robin have his own boat? Does the Batboat not have two seats? Seems like Batman would have a Batboat with two seats. I mean, did it cost too much? Did he spend so much on the Batcave? Did he spend all of his fortune? Weird. So, now we're on the Gotham Docks. And first off, we're going to go say hi to these friendly police officers. Hello, friendly police officers. Oh no, it's penguin goons. Time to beat up some penguin goons. Ouch. Oh, that didn't hit me. Nice. So, yeah, you're gonna see, if, if you're, in case you're wondering, yes, goons always show up in pairs. They very rarely show up in threes. I mean, there's a few places where they show up in threes, and I think it's supposed to be a nod to something when they, something in the level that they do, because I never see them really throw up. Just throw up. <laughs> yeah, I never see goons throw up. Only when they're out late at the iceberg drinking too many beers with their buddies. Penguin does not take kindly to his goons drinking heavily. I'm sorry. Wow. I apologize, everybody. You did not need to hear about goons throwing up. This is a silver key panel, and unfortunately this is something we can't get yet because we need a strength user, which we don't have. Go, Robin, go! So, we're just going to continue on here. Walk across this tightrope. Yeah, and you may be wondering why the tightropes don't show up. That's because they actually won't render in Desmium for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know if the screen is just too too small or what's wrong, but for some reason the tightropes do not render properly in Desmium. So it looks like Robin's walking on thin air. Quite a feat there, Robin. Anyway. Again, Robin's not completely useless this time. He can actually smash some boxes. Come on, smash the box. Good boy, Robin. Smash the box and build this grapple pad for Batman. Uh, uh, uh oh wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we were gonna swing across, guess not. Um, there's something, yeah, there's another one of those silver panels, and some more goons for us to beat up, and as you can see there's a suit swapper pad back there. Uh, we need to get that so Robin can cross something later on. It's a bio suit pad, by the way. So that should tell you what kind of obstacles we'll be facing next. Gonna head over to this silver key switch. Come on, open the key pad. Uh, and behind it we have a canister full of goodies. I like goodies. Bet you want my goodies. Bet you're talking about them. Anyway, this suit swapper pad. It's a nice little bio suit swapper pad, as I said earlier. And we get Robin to stand on it. He switches into his bio suit. And now we are ready for toxic goo action. That sounded wrong, I apologize. And we need it because we need him to walk over to here to pull to get this uh, brick out of that toxic green goo. Why is there toxic green goo on a boat? Why? You see me using the ground pound move there. God, I love that move. It's so awesome and so very useful for taking out enemies in the actual Nintendo DS game. Uh, because it works really, really well. It's really very effective. It knocks enemies down instantly, stuns them for a while, and you can easily walk over and punch the crap out of them. Up here is Bats the Only Turf, as we go up here, and as you can see, that's a villain. This thing is a villain, uh, keypad. 
only villain characters can use that pad. And as you can see, it's marked with Joker's color, Joker being Batman's arch nemesis. I found it fitting. So now, in order to get, proceed, we need to build a, another pad for Batman, a suit swapper pad. Uh, and it just so happens to be the bomb suit swapping pad. Come on, build faster. Here we go. See? Switch your suit. Collect some studs. And let's go. Just gonna walk over this lock. Now, interestingly enough, you'll notice other things that are red and black, or red and gray. Anytime something's red and black or red and gray, it can be blown up. Even if it doesn't appear to be red and black at first. It's always a telltale sign. It'll be mostly red with some black, and that's a hint that you need the bomb suit. Uh-oh, more goons. And they're generic goons! I want to know who these generic goons work for. Seriously. It's bothering me. Yeah, punch that goon. Ow! We punched him right in the Lego nuts. Did you guys see that? I'm, I'm pretty sure Batsy just punched that guy right in the nuts. This is Lego Batman. Not Batman Arkham Asylum. We don't do that here. Oh no, their way is blocked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not Burgess Meredith, unfortunately. I cannot do that laugh very well. <laughs> Well, I can do it all right. All you do is go. And two more goons down. No more to go. We're gonna have to blow this lock off. And uh, Robin can go in, build it. Nope, sorry. Robin can't do anything. This last box is being broken only because it's the only one that has that pad in it. There's nothing else in the other two boxes except for studs, and I already got those studs. So, Robin's down his Magno suit. You saw the shoot earlier. Let's go up it. I'm gonna walk on top of it. Because he is Iron Man. Break these boxes. And as you can see, Robin has a dinky little kick. He doesn't have a ground pound move. I, I for a moment forgot I was playing as Robin. And I think I tried to ground pound there or something. And it didn't work. If it seems to you guys like I'm rushing through these levels, um, I kinda am. I wanted to make the videos as short as possible so you guys didn't have to sit through a whole bunch of random stuff. These levels usually take around 10 to 15 minutes. 10 about, about 10 at the shortest. The driving levels are usually about 3 to 4 minutes. Gonna climb up here. Something, we're gonna wait for Robin so we can climb up the ladder because otherwise it'll take forever. Sometimes your characters, uh, that you're not playing, your AI character will get stuck on things. Here comes a train. Do 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 do. I don't know what I was trying to hum there. I think probably I was trying to hum the Thomas the Tank Engine theme. Oh well. You can run between these trains. God damn it! You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of these motherfucking bats on these motherfucking trains. You know what I mean? I mean seriously, it's an epidemic now. And now. There's kind of a cardinal rule in these ba in these Lego games. Build everything, even if it doesn't have any use to right now. Just because it will give you lots of studs, and studs are a good thing. See, Robin got stuck on the ladder. He didn't follow me. I'm gonna build this pad so we can get over the goo. Um, there are things hidden behind those toxin barrels. There's a Joker card back there specifically, but I don't feel like getting it right now. I'll get that in a later run through, in the free play mode. I'm gonna push a button so Batman can get over here. And I want you to watch very closely at this next cutscene because it is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it go into slow motion there? I've never figured that out. What is up with that dude on that lit forklift? It's like, why? Why slow motion? We need to see the look of terror on his face. Oh, Pull down this uh, platform, walk up it, and we are going to start breaking stuff. We need to break stuff because, well, this is how we get more progress in the game. So, moral of the story is, kitties, always break things if you want to make progress in life. Oh, go away, goons, I'm busy building. Go, forklift! And I got hit for my trouble. All I wanted to do was drive the forklift. 
Yee! What does this button do? Anyway. Anyone remember that show? Dexter's Lab? Why did that show ever go off the air? It was funny as hell. And now it's weird is there's a show called Johnny Test, which is basically just Dexter's Lab from Dee Dee's point of view. What? Okay, Batman got stuck. We're gonna meet another boss in about five seconds here. One very near and dear to my heart. Well, not necessarily, but one very familiar to many of you. Yet another silver keypad we can use. Using it reveals a canister. And in that canister is a container, a bat can, and studs. Always collect the blue studs. And now to go fight the baddie. Uh-oh. Bane! Bane! Manolo! Manolo! Bane! Bane! Manolo! Manolo! Anybody gonna go see that movie, uh, Dark Knight Rises, when it hits theaters in the summer? I am so psyched for that that movie. It's gonna be great. I'm excited. It, then, it follows if uh, Batman Begins was good and Dark Knight w was good, then Dark Knight Rises will also be good. So yeah, first phase of the Bane fight, you want to avoid what he, that that crate he's pushing at you. Second phase, you want to avoid the barrels he's throwing, because they will hurt you. In fact, Robin just got hit by one, see? God damn, Robin, you need to move away from the barrels. How many times do I have to tell you as I get hit by a barrel myself? Ow. <laughs> That's the best way to end that segment, is to die to the last barrel, Phantom. Wow. Okay, third segment of Bane's fight. You just need to build this ladder and run at it. Because otherwise you'll get squished by the crate. There's plenty of time. It doesn't crush the studs? Okay. Okay. Fourth phase of Bane's fight is down here. And this is where the real battle begins. Um, you guys remember in Batman Arkham Asylum, uh, when you were fighting Bane, if you played it, um, where you had to avoid his charge attacks? Well, you kind of have to do the same thing here. Because he's immune to regular attacks, as the game tells you. Um, so you want him to charge you, but you don't want him to hit you because that's an insta-kill. As it helpfully points out. He's vulnerable when he's charging, basically. So you want him to charge into things, and then you can hurt him. Well, that'll hurt him, and then you can hurt him more, basically. And here it goes. Oh no, he's all venomed up, and now he has a dizzy. That's what happens when you do drugs, kitties. So, don't do drugs. I had to switch off to Batman to get him away from Robin, so that, uh... Robin, I could switch to Robin so we could go through the chute and get the next phase of damage ready for Bane. Just gonna build this lever, and it lowers a box. You can guess what we have to do. So basically, this fight's kind of fun, because you're dropping different things on him, you're making him charge you, and it's really very reminiscent in ways of the Bane fight from Batman Arkham Asylum, which is also pretty fun. And basically, taught was an introduction onto how to fight the Titan goons later, which are basically the same thing. So, if you can fight Bane in Arkham Asylum, you can fight the Titan goons. They're like easier Banes. So, gonna lure him over to these pipes. If the game will let me. Yeah, this fight's a little bit gets a little bit tedious if you've played the game several times because you end up having to lure Bane around for a while and give him the run around for a while until he uh, actually decides that it's time to charge and the game decides to let him charge at you, basically. It's rather annoying. No, don't hit me. I am but a lowly Robin. Hit the big black bat instead. He's an easier target. He is more fitting of your skills. Go break him, not me. I am fragile. Pull a lever. Steam vents. Nice. So now what we want to do is, you guessed it, lure Bane into these steam vents. Get out of the way. I think it's funny that they made him turn green because obviously Lego characters don't have veins. decided that both Joker Venom and regular Venom, Bane's Venom, and Fear Gas apparently are all green. Who decided that? Is it because dangerous chlorine gas? But Venom isn't toxic. It's a steroid, and 
Well, I guess it's toxic in super large doses, but it's a drug. Fear toxin is toxic in large doses, but it's not green in the comics, I don't believe. Joker venom usually is, but not fear toxin. Venom is green in the comics. Who decided all of these compounds are going to be green? Amazing technicolor science. And Bane's done, by the way. Ben is going to take a picture. And cheese. Bane hates pictures. And let's go back to our boats. But somebody is watching us. Penguin, you are a peeping Tom. You don't know if I was changing into another suit in that boat. You're a perv. Anyway, that is about the end of this level of Lego Batman. This chapter's level. The first level. And next time, we will be headed over to the rooftops. See you there, guys!